a different scene at Centennial Park. We have the opportunity to pay tribute to the needs and the losses that we've all had. The fence draped with photos, teddy bears and flowers that sat on the edge of the Caloosahatchee River in remembrance of the lives lost during Hurricane Ian is now gone. This is not something that we wanted to do in haste or quickly without thinking about it. A decision to remove the memorial and leave behind this empty lot. We wanted to find a way that we could sort of uh, pay tribute to the memorial without necessarily um, having to keep the items here because long term that's not something that we could do. The memorial had to be removed to transition back to normalcy since the riverfront is an area of many festivals and events. Walking where the memorial used to be, Fort Myers City spokeswoman Liz Bello Matthews tells me this was a well thought out process. With the city making moves to return back to normal, they came up with a plan to memorialize the memorial in honor of the lives lost. We're going to be displaying some of the images of the memorial at various city buildings. We took up some very beautiful pictures of the memorial and, you know, what people were doing here and those who were replenishing those flowers and those who were praying for these families. Mike Verdream was one of the victims memorialized on the wall. His niece tells me their family is still grieving, but as time passes, they are slowly finding peace. She couldn't go on camera, but she says she is happy the city will continue to honor the victims in hopes there will be a memorial in one place for all of the lives lost from Ian. We were so happy and proud to have it here, and we want to make sure that it's not, you know, it doesn't go without being remembered.